political spending? I guess. Yeah, starting with the way, anyway. yeah the star-studded opening night to the Democratic National Convention. Actress Eva Longoria slammed Donald Trump, saying she's a ninth-generation American from South Texas, which used to be part of Mexico, reminding him that her family <laughs> never crossed a border. The border crossed them. Oh, snap. Uh, Paul Simon, <laughs> at least for a moment, united the feuding Bernie and Hillary supporters with his bridge over troubled water. And Oscar-winning actress Susan Sarandon, a die-hard Bernie supporter, was caught on camera looking not so enthusiastic. And as you can imagine, social media had a very good time turning that into a meme. Ian McKenna very tweeting there that she is literally having the worst time ever. And she retweeted and said, you're right. Oh. <laughs> but in a more serious moment, Singer Demi Lovato made an impassioned plea for better access to health care for mental health, sharing with the convention her own struggle with mental illness. This is not about politics. It's simply the right thing to do. I'm doing my very small part by having the treatment center that saw me through my recovery on tour with me so that at least a small group of people, even for a brief moment, can have the same support that I received. It may not be a lot, but we have to believe every small action counts. The following her speech, Lovato then rocked into a live performance of her single, Confident. Next up, we're coming down the stretch yeah. of this season mm -hmm. of ABC's The Bachelorette. We're so, almost there. Yeah, so let's bring in the analysts right away to find out what happened. Right. Got the rose. Yes, let's do it. What happened? <laughs> Pick it up. As uh, we left off the last time, the final four. Chase, Luke, Jordan, and our man Robbie our man roll Robbie. that beautiful bachelorette footage. Where is it? We're back in the airplane hangar uh -huh. for the first rose ceremony. Jordan got a rose. Robbie got a rose. Chase got a rose. You know what that means? As you said last week, Diane, too late, Luke. Bye bye. Uh, Luke has got to go. Later, There's Luke. tears all around. Mercifully, we're down to three. But his hair looks good. Where else? <laughs> Off to Thailand. Ooh. Oh, Jojo and our man Robbie, they're on their uh, they're on their date. There was foot massaging going on, oh. as they do in in Thailand. Uh -huh. There was dinner. All these dates are all about the fantasy suite. Mm -hmm. You're going to see a pattern develop here. They wind up in the fantasy suite. Things are looking good from our man wow. Robbie, Jojo and Jordan. They're sitting in caves. <laughs> there, were, there was hiking going on. There was sweating. That was even before we got to the fantasy suite. There was sweating. <laughs> there was, you know, all of this. They wind up in the fantasy suite. Again. Things are going well for Jordan. Better get that invite to Aaron ready to go. <laughs> Bet he'll ignore. Make sure it doesn't get lost in the mail or anything. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what's up that. with that. JoJo and Chase, they start off at dinner. Kissing. And That's yeah, they were kissing, but you know what? It, he finally, well, you know, as usual, they wind up in the fantasy suite. Chase finally lays on the I love you thing. JoJo's got to call a timeout. She walks out. She comes oh. back. J Chase, you got to go. No. Yeah. Chase said, I'm shattered. Kind of like that Rolling Stone song. From back in like 78, you know? I'm I bet that's what he was thinking no. of. <laughs> I can't give it away on 7th Avenue. Look up the lyrics, trust me. Anyway, rose ceremony. Uh, you know, it's all going well until Chase, you know, makes like a soccer fan and invades the ceremony. It's like a pitch invasion involving Chase. So he just wanted to save his last chance at being the, the new bachelor. From that, they kind of hug it out. <laughs> it's all good, not to worry. The roses, by this point, frankly, it's academic. Yeah. Our man Robbie and Diane's pick Jordan. Wow. Who's still trying to get in touch with his brother for that invitation. <laughs> if, the, if the wedding is ever going to come off. Jojo doesn't care at all. She doesn't what? She doesn't, she doesn't care, care if he's at the wedding. She cares, well, for, she yeah. cares for Jordan's sake. That's true. That's true. So we're down to the final two. So we're down to two. Our man, Robbie. Isn't it crazy that the final Jordan. two are our picks? Yeah, we'll see how that happens. Both of my picks are They're, gone. Chase and Luke. My understanding was it was uh, Jimmy Kimmel's final two as well. So oh, is that right? Not that he knew anything beforehand. Anyway, Men Tell All is tonight. Uh -huh. Finale, thankfully, is next week. And check out Chad's tweets. He was throwing some shade. Very entertaining.